Uh, hello, we are talking with Intia. He is an opera singer from China and he lives in Estonia for 12 years. So we are doing, we would like to talk about his life in Estonia and uh, the uh, attitude of locals towards uh, Chinese people and uh, the Asian people here. Mm -hmm. So you face with some uh, problems, some troubles when you try to uh, find a job here, yeah? I, I was not really aiming to find a job, I was only trying to know the, the salary and the process, that's why I went there. Yeah. And can you tell your story? Well, actually when I went to these uh, Estonian Opera, National Opera, and I was trying to audition for the um, choir. And I took the audition, and um, I have to say that my sight reading is not that good, it's not good. But after the audition, this one of the committee, a member, the choir master, came to me and tell me that uh, uh, my sight reading is not good, it's very bad. Okay, I take that. But the main point is that he said my vocal technique is very bad. And which is sound very ridiculous because I was a straight A student in the academy. And uh, he also, in the end of the conversation, he told me I should go back to China. And when I told this uh, incident or story to my friends, and they say, ah, oh, he doesn't mean that, he, uh, he may mean that you should go back to China for training. But, really? I mean, seriously, if you, if, sometimes the, the speech of a person, you know, the automatic reflection give you the subconscious of the person, which he really, which what he really thinks so. He didn't think, he just said it, you know? So, I'm not saying he's um, on purposely thinking that way, but this reflects what he, he used to think, you know, what he really think. Because that's why it automatically replied like that, you know? If you compare yourself, your voice, your... Um, <coughs> with the uh, other opera singers, mm -hmm. you told me that your voice is better and than uh, many uh, yeah i can sing better than that yeah yeah and uh, it's not a sick it's not um, a surprise by the way of course in order to work here in the very small industry uh, you cannot piss off anyone because i intend to um, give my honest feedback about singing, about music, because that's what we do. Musicians, we have to be honest about the art, otherwise we, we will, you know, uh, we, we, we can't do this anymore, otherwise. And the other time, other day that my friend, uh, another tenor from Tartu, uh, he told me, we, he was uh, trying to propose an idea of uh, four tenors, me, him, and uh, um, an Italian tenor and one local celebrity tenor. And when uh, he told about this idea to an agent in Tartu, and the, tar and the agent asked uh, this celebrity tenor, and he said, he refused, and he said, I do not wish to sing with him, me. Why? He didn't explain why, because the agent didn't tell him why, so he didn't, uh, okay, fine, he refused, so that's all. Um, reason, I really don't know, but here I do know that there's only one tenor there who is really active. There are more, one, two, more, but um, the, the real active one, only one tenor in the opera house. And I think the Opera House wanted to keep it that way. And uh, yeah, then for, for that case, uh, no chance for me. Because you are a Chinese. Yeah, especially when you are better. Because it's um, not a very surprising 
mentality that I want to keep my people, my own people, in the circle. So if he's bad, of course he's not in, but if he's better, I must not get him published. Because if he's published and promoted, everybody, audience are not, not deaf. Okay, audience are, are clever, so they know, they can hear immediately the differences. And then, ah, okay, so why is this guy not promoted, or you know, why is this one? But of course, they're playing with this uh, uh, nationalism, so we play our own tenor. Of course, it is important, I understand. In all countries, it's important. But what if the level of this particular area is not really, you know, reaching the desired level. Shouldn't we invite you more people and making a healthy competition to improve our level? Yeah. Also, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's they should say our singer. What is our singer? Our singer is our theater promoting helping young, talented singer, whoever he is, no matter where he's from. And then he is our singer, because we created, we built, we helped him or her. And that should be something they can be proud of, not by nationalities. They can call, he is our singer, he is, we are proud to present him, no matter what, where he's from. Where is he from? He's from our opera house. Yeah. He is from our opera house. So, I think that's what, what, what this idea has to change. You know, not only by nationality, but think of this art form, think of our opera house. We want to create it for this nation to, you know, be more motivated. To be more motivated. Because now it's not really helping this art form. They, they're holding uh, auditions regularly, but uh, nobody's hired for two years. I mean, the, for the opera choir. And soloists always stay the same. Um, and also there's a... The professors also say that sometimes um, they should have more soloists for, for a variety of uh, operas, you know, operas. Because you, you can't have one voice for all, right? That, that's not logical. You have a different voice for a different type of role, and you have a more organized uh, institution in that way. That, that's how I personally think. And uh, most of the time when I talk with the students and professors, they do agree with this idea. But there's nothing we can do because we are not in charge. So if we are. <laughs> Uh, if we were not hired, we were not hired. That's, that's. But you were you was the fir uh, the best uh, student in uh, the academy, yeah? Yeah, I was. I have. I can show you my exam record. Mm -hmm. Five, always five. When I was a bachelor, master, almost, yeah. And later I was uh, studying the doctor program. So. Um, my friend said, uh, he, she's not a singer, but she said, okay, if you accept it as a doctor, how can you be back? That's not logical. The, the, the professors, they should be wrong if they took someone who is not qualified, right? Yeah. But you are qualified, so that's why you are accepted. So you are, uh, I guess that you are overqualified for Estonian opera, yeah? As a singer point of view, yeah. of course. And, uh, Vocal ability, yes, of course. I and so. of and course, if if I I think I can promise this. Let's do a healthy competition. Put the tenors on the same stage. Don't tell them who is singing now. I can do that, and let the audience decide. Yes, and uh, but and they will never do that. Yeah, <laughs> of course not. Mm. Yeah. Because of nationalism, yeah. Yeah, because the the proud the the narratives, you know, because of the proudness of these, uh, we must present our own people. They really should not think our own people like uh, nationality-wise. 
Mm. Yeah, because opera is a place that presents this art. So in order to make this art better, we should never think about nationalities. Absolutely, absolutely. We should never think about it because the art is the is the one of the places that opens up for everyone. Absolutely. And accept everyone. But then in opera houses, not in the only Estonian, but in most of the, the European opera houses, why do we only see their own people? Yeah. More tolerant they are, the yeah. much higher level they could get. Potential. Yeah. More potential. Estonia has a huge potential. Only if they break all these obstacles. And, and there borders. will be hu hu humongous development in Estonian society. I'm pretty sure because sometimes I heard people say Estonia is small. No, Estonia is, that cannot be an excuse anymore. Not anymore. Because Estonia has a huge, huge potential. Maybe Estonians are not so ambitious and maybe they are not interested in art. Um, well, we can see the choir, choir, uh, how to say, uh, the chorus, right? H how passionate people can be in the choir. And they love singing, right? They love singing. Then I was curious why the soloist part is so weak. We have to admit, it's very weak in classical singing. Um, I, I personally think it's because the choiring, earlier choiring training is actually uh, become an um, obstacle for the men mental and uh, vocal development. Because in choir you, you, you seek for unique, uh, un uh, how to say, common color mostly. You have to make an equal there. It, it does not require you, one individual, to be stand out. But soloists require totally the opposite. And mentally as well. Soloists, you stand out, you sing. You fail, that's your responsibility. But in choir, let's say, if you only mimic in the choir, nobody's gonna realize. Uh, it, not, not even your colleagues sometimes. So it puts your individual responsibility equal on each one of the choir, choir members then in this way it um, become obstacle to be less ambitious, to be less uh, willing to do uh, solo work. Of course, teamwork is always fundamental, always fundamental, because even a soloist have his own team. Coaches, teachers, pianists, uh, conductors, a choir member helps, choreographers, but still, the result, in order to be presented, is on by yourself. You have to be able to handle all the pressures. But these uh, kind of strength need to be trained, need to be taught. But choir actually diminish all this. You may present as a group, but it will be hard them to be confident as an individual. You told me, yes, absolutely, I agree with you. You told me a story about Otello. Yeah. Yes. Can you tell it for... Well, uh, it's really uh, funny because yeah. uh, in, um, in uh, opera studio in, in Germany, uh, I, my, my, uh, my teacher's student uh, was there and she taught uh, her about the situation, the director didn't want to have any Asians because Asians look weird in opera. Because uh, most of the operas, uh, traditional operas, they are based on the uh, European uh, stories and literatures. So rarely happening there are Asian uh, characters. Uh, now the well-known opera can be Turando to Madame Butterfly, which do uh, have uh, Asian characters, then it's very limited. Uh, and also in Finland, there's a director said we will never 
the, he said basically claimed the same thing like uh, Asians look weird in our opera because they I think uh, what he mean, well, I think what he means that uh, so opera should be white white people but then the problem is what about Otello so Domingo play Otello Mario del Monaco play Otello like a greatest Otello in, in, in the world but also uh, Jonas Kaufmann German they are not black but Otello is a black African region so they should never play Otello <laughs> yeah. so they should never play Otello and no European singer should ever ever perform Turandot because the story is based in Beijing I'm from Beijing so I can I'm the only one who can sing <laughs> Turandot nobody can and even uh, not my friend from Shanghai not my friend from Sichuan but only people in Beijing is that fair yeah. I would ask those directors. The stupid nationalism. Um, thank you so much for this interview. Um, what? But uh, last question. Uh, <laughs> do you have any ideas how uh, we can change this situation? I think what we can change. Unfair situation. Well, first of all, they have to be willing to change. And secondly. Um, because I, as I said, Estonia has a huge potential because of these lacks. You know, when you have lacks, when you have a, um, providing gaps, you have a potential to make it. I used to uh, think. I talked with this idea with my friends that you, you, we should connect it because Estonia is a very um, is a small area, but that's it. That could be an advantage for this such cooperation which I have is that you have a, all the university combined created one project for instance opera for instance opera because I'm opera singer uh, we connect with the music academy with all department and asking the business school to do their promoting and asking the law department of the uh, business school to have all care all of this law you know the, the legal press, you know, uh, documents. And with the media school, we do the filming, we do the promotion. With the art school, we do the, de we do the design. So they can be funded by the government and also we can fund raising uh, from, from the states as well. And in this way, all the departments are active for the project. Maybe not only one, but several projects at the same time. Cooperate all, you know, working together with all uh, universities, with all of their related uh, majors, then they have something to, you know, to work on, you know, and they, they also from their uh, school years, they already working as professionals, they already have such experience to really build from the beginning to the final product. Also, uh, you know, product, production designers, you know, photographers, journalists, everyone can work on the same direction for one, you know, they, 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 they can promote one thing or, or several things, you know, this. I think if that could happen, it will be a huge, huge example very positive example for the entire world because I had never heard of any country which can do this. I think Estonia can. And a huge contribution to the society and exactly. uh, European Union um, model. Yeah, exactly, because that would be the first one actually happening that which become a national active uh, activity. Then then I think Estonia has, has something to really be proud of besides the beautiful nature. You know, because IT, well, IT you can, uh, it can be, but I think if Estonia can be such, such an open, like this, more talent people will come, the Estonian talent will stay. Because now the problem is the talented Estonia go away. 
Yeah. And that, because they don't see the potentials. Or they see the potentials, but they see there's no action to the potentials. If we can put actions, let them see we are doing things so they can be involved. They will stay. I think they will definitely stay. Because they, they, this will be a future. You know, not somewhere that uh, like a um, home I can go out for years and then I come back. Not only that, but they are willing to stay because my country, our nation has the huge potential. I want to stay, I want to help, I want to be part of it to develop this. Yeah, that's great. I hope that this great idea will be realized and Estonia will be the country of uh, realized great I ideas, but not lost uh, great ideas. So thank you so much. Thank you. And I hope uh, next time I will record your singing and show your singing for the whole world, sure. uh, in, including Estonia. Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. Thanks. See you. Yeah.